Hi there, boys and girls. It is time we're going to start a new story. I brought a globe here, and I have to admit I had trouble finding it. George helped me find it. And, uh, and it's a neat one because it says, For God so loved the world, on the front of it. And our story is about God's love for the world. Now, we're going to find ourselves here, uh, on here, right about here. Is, is the United States, the Great Lakes is right there, and we're right here. This is Pennsylvania, right there, that little spot. But this is the United States here, and Canada's up here, and of course we have South America down here, and there's Texas, right there by Mexico. And so, we're talking about there, but we would have to go all the way around the world to get to where our story is today. It's in India. Now, if we were going in an airplane, this is longer than doing this, and they would fly right over the top of the North Pole, because it's a shorter distance. And uh, so we're still going a straight line. It looks like we're going in a circle, but, but it's a straight line over. And so we're going to be talking about India today. Now, in India, people speak differently. Many people in India can speak English, um, but the primary language in India is Hindi. Uh, and we get the word Hindu from that. And that's part of the religious life of the Hindi people, is that they're Hindus. Uh, and so they have a uh, different religious understanding. They have more than one God. Uh, they have three primary gods, but there are other gods. And, and they also are, uh, are aware of evil spirits. Now we talk about evil spirits in our Christian faith too. We talk about demons and uh, evil spirits of, of the devil. So there are evil spirits in our own um, uh, faith and, and religion. But in India, there's a great fear of the evil spirits. And, and uh, they're uh, ministers. It's kind of like a minister, but they're, they're also they're doctors. Uh, they uh, try to cast spells that get rid of evil spirits. And uh, that's part of their work. So we're going to encounter what we call witch doctors uh, as a part of the Hindi faith. Uh, and, uh, and another thing is they dress very differently. Now we're going to see this picture inside. But this is the boy that we're going to talk about, Ringu. Ringu. Uh, and, and he's a young lad. Uh, his parents, uh, we're going to meet them. And his brother Batu uh, today. And, and we're going to be in this story for a number of weeks. Uh, as we um, get to know Ringu, as Brother Batu and his mother and father, uh, and others that are there. We're going to meet a missionary, uh, Grub Saib. Um, Saib is like Sir or Mr. Uh, Grubbs, Mr. Grubbs or Reverend Grubbs. Uh, and he's in India to tell people about Jesus. And yeah. so we'll meet him today as well. And we'll meet a Hindi Christian who had been a a Hindu worshiper, but he became a follower of Jesus. So, our story begins with Ringu of India's forest. Uh, we're going to encounter some words that tell us about some of the things that happen uh, and some of the other things that are part of, of India. This was the cover story. Uh, that's not a tractor on the front, is it? Not two tractors. It's not even horses. Those are our water buffalo. And that was the main, and still is a main means of transportation in India. See those huge wheels on that wagon, that cart? Uh, they, they load it up with things that they, they grow or that they uh, make, and they take it to the bazaar. Bazaar is like a marketplace. Um, we sometimes use the word bazaar when we have a holiday festival. We call it a Christmas bazaar or something like that. Um, they have a bazaar, and once in a week, uh, they, they bring their stuff out uh, and they sell it along the roads or along the streets of the city. And this particular day, uh, mom and pop had gotten uh, Ringu and Batella uh, ready to go to town because it was the festival or the bazaar of the ox, the water buffalo, the oxen. And, and so they were, they were going to town. And, and Ringu is right up here. He's driving them. He has a stick. Uh, and sometimes he, he makes them go faster because he reaches down and grabs their tails and twists it. And that hurts a little bit. And, and they go. Now, it's a very special trip they're going because it's the festival of the water buffalo, the oxen. And, and so they're going to have races to see who has the fastest 
um, oxen and buffalo, and, uh, um, and, and, and Ringu is going to drive his family's team in that race. Uh, so they're going to town and uh, they're getting garlands. You see those oxen don't have any decorations. They just are there. Well, they're going to get them all fancied up with garlands like you'd put on your Christmas tree and stuff. Only these are made out of flowers and uh, they'll buy some bells and other decorations to put on their oxen for the race. And there'll be a lot of people in that race. So they're heading to town and uh, and riding that wagon, that's a pretty dusty road. They're starting down some rugged trails. And you don't see it here, but, well, you see a little bit. They're going to get into the forest. There's some scary things in the forest. Huh? I'm not going to tell you about them all today. But there's some scary things. In, they're in India. Now, I remember as a little boy um, going to the barn. And the barn was quite a ways away from the house. And I had to go by this bunch of trees, uh, a little grove. And I was sure there were some wild animals in there that were going to come out and get me. And I would get down to that grove of trees and I would take off running and screaming uh, until I got past it and down there. So I still remember doing that. That grove is still there. It's not as scary today as it was years ago for me. But it's, it's still there. The trees are much bigger in that grove than they were back then. It was more of a bushy type of grove. So they're riding to town. I don't know the name of the town, but they're going to town. Uh, for the bazaar, and they get there, and, and they um, uh, they buy some coconuts. You heard of coconuts? Maybe some of your Easter eggs had coconuts in there. Well, they raise coconuts in India and other vegetables. And, and said, now, how about bananas? Have you heard of bananas? Well, bananas going to show up in our story because bananas grow there too. They got there and they unloaded. There's Batu, and there's Mom and Dad, and there's Ringu. Uh, you see what happened in his foot? I don't know if you can see that, but he got a thorn there as he was walking along. Because they were barefoot. Now, Mom and Dad still wear some shoes, but the kids were going barefoot around. You have to watch where you're walking because the water buffalo, they leave something behind them. Uh, that you use fertilizer for your garden, but uh, it also step in and it doesn't smell very good. And, and that's also, so he got this thorn in his foot. And it hurts. You can tell by the looks on his face. That thing hurts. And he reaches down and he pulls it out. Do you think you could do that if you got a thorn in your foot? I, I sometimes get them when I'm working uh, on the farm uh, and cleaning up things. I get thorns from the thorn bushes. And uh, I, I, they break off sometimes and you have to pull them out. Well, his was a big thorn. And it really hurt. He reached down, pulled it out. And then he ran on behind the rest of them to catch up because he didn't want to get left behind. And they tied up the oxen. Uh, and a, and a ox with wheel where you could tie them up around the wheel and, and uh, a whole bunch of them could be tied up there. So they tie up the oxen and they run off by themselves. Well, as Ringu is going by one of the stands, he reaches out and grabs a banana. You see that banana in his hand? He didn't pay for it. He watched to when the shopkeeper wasn't looking or was watching with somebody else and he grabbed it. You think that was something he should have done? No, that wasn't. And he hid it in his clothes. And he, he thought, everybody does that. It's okay. I'm, I got away with it and, and I did it. But by the same token, the two was, he was scared because his foot hurt. And he, and he didn't want to miss the race tomorrow because that was an important thing to do. And, and so he's running to catch up with his family. And he bumps into a man. It's Saib Grub, or Grub Saib, that's how they would pronounce it. He's a missionary, and he's handing out pieces of paper that talk about Jesus, so that he can talk to them about Jesus. And Now, Batu, Ringu can't, neither can Batu, neither of them can read at this point in time. They're going to school to learn how to read, but they can't read. This is printed in Indi, uh, not printed in English, it's printed in Indi, so that they can read it when they learn their language and how to read it. And this is the missionary, and he's talking. Now, Ringu bumped into him and knocked all the papers down, and he thought, I'm in trouble, I better run. And he started running, but the missionary said, wait a minute, wait a minute, it's all right. I can pick these up, I want you to have one of the papers. And so, he, again, well now, Ringu hears music coming from a box. And, uh, well, he doesn't know where it's coming from, but it's coming from a box. And, and he goes over and there's a crowd of people standing in a circle. And he looks in and he sees a man playing. Now, have you ever seen an instrument like that? 
That's a, it's a, 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 a harmonium. It's a, and they don't make them anymore, but they made them years ago. It's kind of like an accordion and an organ, all in one. And the man plays it with one hand, the keys, and he pumps it with the other. And it was an ancient music box uh, that they call a harmonium. And he's playing on it, and, and here's Ringu, and here's his brother Batu. They got right down in front where the man's playing the music. And they are fascinated. They've never seen anything like this. This is something strange for them. Now, we've grown up with radios and TVs and uh, CD players and all kinds of things that can play music. and So we don't even think about it. But they hadn't seen this at all. They didn't have a radio or TV. Um, this, this is all new. And they think it's so great. Well, uh, Batu just wants to leave because he thought, we're going to make the evil spirits mad if we stay here and listen to this. So he said, we got to go and go. Yeah, and Ringo said, just wait a moment. And, and they waited a little bit longer. And then Ringo said, okay, we can go. And he said, I wish I knew what that piece of paper talked about. Because this man talked about being uh, a Hindi, and then he became a Christian. And uh, I, I wish I knew more about that. Well, as the day progressed, Ringo's foot got sore. And more, very sore. And it, it, it got to hurt to walk on, and it became red and inflamed. And, and so... When, when his dad saw it that evening, he said, we got to do something. And he called the witch doctor. Uh, that's kind of a scary looking person, isn't it? Now, Ringo was familiar with him, so he wasn't terribly afraid. But he, he still was scared as to what was going to happen with his foot. Because he wanted to be in that race tomorrow when they would be racing the oxen in the, in, in, in the, in the festival. So anyway, uh, the, the witch doctor came in and he, he put some powder on it and he said some things in, in a kind of a, like a chant and, and all of that. And he said, you'll, you'll be better. Well, do you think Ringo got better? We'll find out next week. Okay? All right. Father, thank you for this day and thank you for the story that you give to us and uh, getting to know Ringo and Batu, his brother, and others. And we just look forward to that in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, see you next week, boys and girls.